Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hollywood Live. We've got a good one for you today. Of course, we always do. Uh, my guest today is a director. He's an actor. Uh, he's got a new film out, and it's really good and kind of scary. I'm talking about welcoming right now. Courtney Glade. how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Okay. I saw the movie. It stars <laughs> Monique. My girl is back. <laughs> she is back with a vengeance no pun intended uh without the giving giving away too much of the film but first of all i hear you actually wrote this for monique with her in mind yeah yeah from the beginning i knew that too that too um i wanted um even with putting pen to paper i could hear her voice um you know uh reading the script back to me as i was developing it yeah well she plays these roles very well. But let's talk a little bit about the whole idea of reading because I know, you know, it's something that black folks have been doing for a long time. You know, we don't always talk about it, especially if you're a religious person and, and you know, the church says, oh no, don't do that. But black people have for a long time had folks come in and do readings for them. Kind of, you know, sometimes they're called uh, psychics. Sometimes they're called futurist or whatever. But what? Why did you want to do this story? So it was. It it honestly just started from a moment. Um, I I didn't jump into the psychic or the wind and why. I jumped into it at a moment when I saw. Um, I think his name is Tyler Henry. If I but I may be saying it wrong. He's a young psychic, and he was doing a reading of by at with Bobby Brown uh, years ago. And I saw um, his reaction to something he saw. He didn't say it out loud. He reacted to something that he saw about Bobby Brown um, because he didn't know who Bobby Brown was because he's so young. Um, and the reaction that he gave, I was like, wow. Like I love the reaction that he gave because he was really, really shocked at whatever he saw about Bobby Brown, which what he really saw was that Bobby Brown was Bobby Christina's dad. He knew Bobby Christina, but didn't know Bobby Brown. And that surprise moment, that moment of somebody finding out something about someone that they had no idea, honestly sparked the entire film. And I wanted to recreate that moment. And the story just developed itself around that. Wow. Well, again, I don't want to give this away, but also working with Lee Daniels, Lee Daniels and Mo Lee was the executive producer, I believe. Yes. Um, and Lee's been a longtime friend forever. We used to be neighbors way back in the day. Um, and so he loved this is perfect for him. He loves these dark stories. And I'm just glad to see that he and Monique are back together again, because, you know, there was that feud. But they've gotten over it, thank goodness. What was it like to work with both of them together again? So I never did. So I went and I, um, when I casted Monique, I didn't know Lee. So I went and I got Monique by by myself, just her. Monique came onto the project before anything. The project was completely filmed and completely done by the time we got to Monique, when I got, I mean, when we got to Lee, when I got to Lee and I didn't go through Monique to get to Lee. So they, I, I never had really had the opportunity to work with both of them collectively. Lee came on to help me kind of like polish the, 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 the film down to the, to the pace that we needed it to be for a commercial run. Oh, interesting. So you missed the whole feud thing altogether. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The other characters, I mean, everybody, you're actually in the film too. I am. I did. Are you in the are you are you aren't you in the film? Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. bit. You got a little cameo in there. Cameo in there. <laughs> What's it like directing yourself? It is very, very weird um, because I'm used to being behind the camera. So that probably was the longest scene because I kept forgetting to say action and do the action and forget what I was doing the action of. I was I was a horrible actor for myself. <laughs> I I kept forgetting the cues and focusing on other stuff. So even for that moment, that took probably like three hours just to get that one moment because I kept forgetting what side of the camera I was on. <laughs> You did well, though. All things considered, then you did really, really well. This film is, you know, first of all, let me just ask you this. 
horror films are back with a vengeance. Yes, they uh, are. When I, when I was a kid, you know, which was like 110 years ago, uh, <laughs> horror films were really big and we all used to watch them and have fun with them. But, you know, they weren't as scary as they are now because- Yes, now they were. Scary. Yes, yes. Were yes, they? Yes. Yeah, I always yeah. thought they were funny. Yes. I am a <laughs> I am a horror fanatic. This is Freddie. This is Michael and Jason. These okay. are the icons of all that. Freddie is Elm Street is pretty bad. Yeah, you're right about that. You no, you're absolutely right about that. And those were the ones that we were watching back in the day too. So, yeah, guess you're right. But I don't know. Today it seems to me that and and maybe it's because of you know the CG, the graphics, and and just yeah. all of the extra stuff you can add to the horror films they've just gotten i'm not saying they're even better but to me they're just i don't know maybe you know what? i i think what's happening is we're making horror real now so yeah, it, it's one of those things to where freddie was one of those things to where it was make believe he came in the dreams and all of that now you have the horror that's like wait a minute he could live next door wait that that's a little whoa i i can relate to the person that's getting killed. it's one of those i think horror is becoming more realistic than it probably was at, at one point in time right i wouldn't exactly call the reading a horror film i don't know if you would but it's certainly a, a, a unbelievable thriller and once mm -hmm. you realize what's happening it becomes very scary yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's different from I'm not calling it a horror film. What are you calling it? I I call it a thriller too. I I I, I call it a psychological thriller. Yeah. That okay, yeah. so we're on the we're on the same page about sure. that. So as a director crafting something like this today that takes it not really in that horror genre, which like we just discussed is a little bit different, but this is very real. Mm -hmm. this, this this thriller is very real and and many of them are as a director how do you go about achieving that um so it was when when people do have the opportunity to watch it they'll understand how un fetched the certain bad character is that's a real person that that that's not far-fetched from something that could could generally happen. So it wasn't, I just put people um, in a situation, I put people in a worst case situation. And, and honestly, it's not that difficult now because if you just watch the news, there is a part of the, you know, like we not- Oh yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, it, the story ain't that creative if you just wanna it, <laughs> watch the Saturday night news it, it and you hear the reading on there like so we're not far away from it. Oh, you are so right. I live in LA and the news oh, every day. Yeah, every so day it's, is like that's the you're so right. I mean I, the news. Really, yeah, really, really. So if you look at it like that, which is why it's really scary too. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's, yeah. The, that's the other part of it. You're right. What's up next for you after this? First of all, when does this come out? This, this is coming out really soon. So the reading is out. It is on, it, it, it's on BET Plus. It came out February 2nd. And if I'm not mistaken, it came out on BET Linear yesterday or the day before okay. yesterday. Yeah, that's the one I think I was talking about because I knew yeah. there was another one coming up, and that's yeah, uh, yeah. BET streaming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like it on BET Plus, y'all. They, you know, they be doing the commercials on BET. I don't know what they did to it, but I like it on BET Plus. It plays all the way. I like play all the way through movies. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one thing I love about streaming. It plays all the way through. But check yeah. it out on both platforms. Well, it's definitely worth watching. Um. The cast is really wonderful. You really scored on the cast. Were they? Uh, and, and I don't know if all of them are well-known actors. No, no um, none, of them are. none of them are. That's that's what I thought. But boy, they do a great job in this. Were they your yeah. friends? Did you just go out and get some people off the street? Or no. <laughs> you know? no, all of them are um, working actors that that um, are in Houston. I wanted to use my hometown talent because we have so much of it that goes unseen. So um, go and get Monique and, and her bringing all of her knowledge um, on set, ha partnering her with them, um, actors that are really, really hungry to be 
um, what she has accomplished already. It played together so well. Um, um, she brought her expertise and they brought their hunger and we ended up with a, with a, with a great product. I know. I'm hoping, too, that we can put a little clip in here um, and we'll leave a little space for like right now. I don't want to do this anymore. What is it you're not telling me? You remember that guy, Johnny? Yeah, the white boy from the last reading. What about him? His mom came so close to touching me. What happens when they touch you? They possess you. Emma Leighton, she's an author. She's one in the sky to do a reading for her. What's the catch? Her husband and two children were killed on home invasion about two years ago. Emma barely survived. I told you I was scared. If you go and find another gig... You're talking about a hundred grand. Emma, sky's the one doing your reading today. I've heard some amazing things about you. I hope I can help you in some way today. You ready? Take deep breaths. I heard footsteps. That's creepy. Why did you do that? This has never happened before. And she locked us in. We, we got to snap her out of it. Sky? Hey, Mommy. What you doing? I think we're trapped in here. Hide. Stop her. We can't. Run! For some reason that didn't work out. We're back. We're back. <laughs> with Courtney. We're back with Courtney. Courtney, what's up next for you? This is wonderful. And I know this is not your first rodeo, but mm. so we are, I am um in pre-production right now for a film that that I would love to um I would I can't wait for you guys to see. Um we're we're planning on shooting in September. And then I'm also just in talk with a few of the networks about what they want to see. It seems that people are just really impressed about the journey of the reading. And it and realistically it's not I I'm, I am appreciative of it because it's not about the movie. It's about how the movie came about and the producing mm -hmm. journey and and what it took to get it done. So those are the conversations that I'm having now and they're just interested to know what what's going to happen within the next couple of years. So I'm I'm blessed to be here. Oh yes you are and we're blessed that you are here and and bringing some really great content um and like I said I'm just glad to to see that Monique is back. That's always been my girl. She's been through a lot of stuff but just so you know uh, back in the day when she was living out in the valley she used to cook all this food up and invite all of us over and we would go eat and have a good time and seriously party. So I'm I'm waiting for her to start that up again. Start that up again now. <laughs> it's going to be healthy now though. You know she she of cooked course. That it's going to be healthy now. I don't know about healthy, but it sure was good back in the day. <laughs> it may not have been healthy, but it was good, okay? <laughs> and healthy is just fine. We're all trying to be a little bit healthier. Live just days. a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So, so good to meet you and meet you. Continued, continued success with that. What would you like to leave with the audience about the reading? Um, the reading is a roller coaster. Um, it is, it is, it is a story about realistic people um and and what people will go through um to achieve or to stay away from something at the same time and you're most likely going to watch it twice i can promise you if you watch it one time and you in the first five minutes you've missed something that i told you already yeah you're, you're, you're right about that because i was thinking oh i may have to go back and I, in fact you're right because i said to myself I gotta go back and look at the beginning again. Yes. So you're right about that. How about how about how about that? You're absolutely correct. Well, I enjoyed it. And these days I don't watch too many scary movies because, like you said, there's just so much scary stuff on the news every day. 
that I really have kind of start, stopped watching these films, but I did watch the reading and I really did enjoy it. And yes, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, mm. one of those. One of those. Mm-hmm. So you well, did, did, did. It ain't that scary. It's not. it's not really that scary. No, it's really not scary, but it is a thriller. It that is. it is. And I enjoyed it and enjoyed talking to you. Come back and visit us anytime you, for your thank next project. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And for everybody else out there, we always love that you're tuning in. Uh, we still have a lot of stuff on our YouTube channel, a lot of video and great stuff from all of the awards season. So check that out, too. In the meantime, everybody take care of themselves and somebody else. Bye.